What's up guys, this is Helder from Digimon World Gamer and we're here today to bring some Power Rangers Dino Fury news uh, straight from Hasbro's own channel so I guess there's no point of uh, hurting the news by myself if you guys can go to the Hasbro official channel and see by yourselves the, the news they just uh, they just announced it but hey whatever <laughs> so here we have the the Hasbro team bring us the the very the very first image of the Power Rangers Dino Fury uh, toys and the very first pictures of the Power Rangers Dino Fury Megazords. Yeah. You can see that the design team really has gone in there and with a fine tooth comb really made all sorts of extra details and made these even Yeah, he's very right. He has a lot of details on this Zord, more details that I haven't seen on a Power Rangers Zords, even though I don't own any Power Rangers Megazords, it's not the big ones that transform, only the, the small scale ones, but man, this guy has really a lot of details. Even more detailed and complex than you'd even see in the, in the animated, or in the, in the animations in the live action show. And Oh, animation! Ah, he said, uh, he, he just said that, uh, he, uh, of course he mistook the live action show for the animation, but is Hasbro planning some animation? Who knows? Uh, maybe, maybe we found out a secret that he just spilled out for us, or not? <laughs> Even right down to like these little spikes on the back, they're they're nice and detailed and sharp, but they're they're safe for for our youngest consumers. By the way, uh, I accelerated the the video because of copyright. I don't want to get a flag or something, but. Um. You know, they, they come apart, which is awesome, which is a big part of what you see in the show, and kids can replicate that. But, you know, the combination is, is just the beginning of it. What I think the design team's also done is they've added a whole new level of... Guys, take a look at that. This is the Brad Tyrannosaurus warrior mode that probably tra transforms into the Megazord. Articulation. So you'll see, not only do you get um, rocker joints this way, but you get actually hip motion. You can listen to that awesome clack crackling. I don't know if you can hear it with my audio or not, but there's awesome ra ratcheting joints. You've got, um, you've got ankle rocker. That's very cool. You've got ankle rocker articulation, um, and then even like some of this torso action that is free because of the way this thing works, you're able to really strike some awesome poses. One of my favorite things is we've added articulation to the heads. Well, I can show you more on those later, but you, you can actually rotate the heads and have them look down in slight angles and stuff, and, it's, and you get these really awesome poses. But the best thing of all is the customizability. You know what I was talking about is this, um, these are actually the most customizable doors we've ever done, and this new Zord Link system. Really? It's the most customizable? How ca yeah, The most customizable toy the Mega Zord they have done. This is the very second, <laughs> the very second uh, Megazord the Hasbro has ever done. Well, maybe if you count Beast Morphers and the Mighty Morphin Zord that they just released last year, this is the third Zord. So it's uh, it's not it's not much to say it's the most custom Zord we ever made. It's just the third Zord. Well, whatever. That allows even our youngest fans the ability to make the cool Megazord. Um, combos and the formations that they see in the show or you know best of all let's parents maybe older fans of the rangers and these new ranger fans who are kids team up to make some of the awesome uh, combinations from their own imaginations you know just ima like, imagine the possibilities if you had an entire collection of these guys you're able to break them apart into their individual components and snap them to make together in really cool and, and interesting new ways you know, like this guy's tail comes off it splits open and you're able to have a piece of armor that then you can place onto the chest of the big guys and you can say you can snap this guy's uh, really? t-rex face off and then in a snap, you've got you've got a brand new character that is that is riffing right off of the awesome formations that Power Rangers use to defeat the monsters in the show. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Oh, that, that that's very cool, and you can make custom poses with the with other parts of the Zords, which are not seen in the show. That's that's very awesome. That that's gonna be cool. I, I get I get what he said is the most custom Zord they ever made, because it actually is. You can make uh, uh, poses and. Formations there are not in the show. That's very cool. So on that note, amazing segue. Um, this assortment will be sold. So you have five Zords total, but they'll be sold in three different packages. So the red Zord will be his own package. The pink and green Zords will be sold in one package together, and then the yeah, that's good to know. Blue and black Zords will be sold in one um, package together. So what that will tell you is that with all of these different pieces that you'll be able to break apart, you can make amazing Zords. You can make screen accurate Zords, such as the Dino Fury Mega Zord Warrior Formation, which is kind of bonkers cool. Like there's a lot going on. <laughs> it, it sure has. It's like the Tyrannosaur is the Zord itself, and they use the other Zords as uh, armor. <laughs> it's not that the like before the the, 
the tri Triceratops is the leg, the Tiger's Art is the, another leg, or maybe some arms. No, it's the red, the red one is the, the Zord itself, the Mega Zord itself, and the other one's just excess armor and accessor accessories and weapons and stuff like that. That's really weird, but unique in kind of way. And I'm really here for it. This is actually awesome. a maximalist sword. This is not a minimalist sword. <laughs> but like, look at how cool this is. But all of these pieces come apart, so you can also make other show accurate swords, or you can make swords totally in your own imagination. So I will actually disassemble this guy while John is talking and make a different mega sword to show you how it works. Um, so on that note, what do, you, what do you think is the most challenging part of creating a toy that is actually made to be disassembled and then reassembled? Because it seems like it would be way more complicated than just a toy that kind of exists only in the form that it is in. So it's really a balancing act of clutch power, ergonomics, customizability, and play. So we want to make sure that this thing um, is fun, and you can in every single one of the purchases you can make something meaningful. So in, in the um, in the two packs of, the, of like let's say the pink and the green sword, the um, tiger claw sword, and the Kylo hammer sword, we've actually included these extra. So Jordan designed these awesome extra modular components that sort of look like an arm, but they're they're actually kind of like a universal brick that allow you to expand this thing as much as you want. Oh, so they have extra uh, mega sword parts. That's that's really cool, clever, and. Unique. I haven't seen any Zord like that. I, I have. Been, I don't own any Power Rangers Megazord, the ones that actually transform into the bigger Megazord. But uh, I've been watching lots and lots and lots of these Zords reveal, and and also being a Power Ranger fan ever since I was a little kid, it's great to know they they given something extra extra for us. There's extra little snap-on drill pieces, and every every piece comes apart, so you're able to mix and match. Um, and I think that's really the, the, the ability of this freeform building system. It's great for both young fans, but also old fans of the Rangers to play and customize together. The trick, though, is when you design something, it's easy for a young, young kid. You have to also have that balance to make sure that it's aspirational enough for your older kids and, and fans. Um, and that's where the detail um, and all of those other small nuanced details really come into play, because you don't want this to feel um, too simplistic, but you also don't want it to be too complicated. And I think that's where the design team really found a happy medium with this new Zordling system. I would agree. I think that it's, and I think part of the fun with this is also figuring out exactly where things can go and what you can make happen. So, like, I've on this guy so far, I've changed his head out. Wow. I've put on new shoulder pieces. I'm working on his sword arm. But there's, there's like a, I know the combinations aren't actually endless, but it feels like there's a really large combination of different amazing things that you can do with this. So even not having him fully decked out, like this is awesome. Yeah, it's great, and and I think you know that's the fun of a mashup toy like this is it just you can do all sorts of crazy things that you you know it's just it's anything you want to do in your imagination. So it's the play value is here, and that it's not just a, a toy that you take out of the box, you play once or twice with. You're you're able to just keep the fun going by just increasing all of these wacky combos. And if you have like you know let's say you're hanging out with your buddy and um, he or she has another set of green cats, you can team up and have two green cats combine onto the the red sword, and you can get you know double the awesome green power on this guy. It's it's, it's really fun. It's very open ended. Nice well, my guy's a little top-heavy now, but he's looking really cool. I like his. This almost looks like a butterfly shield. I'm like way into it. I can twist his feet around. Yeah, and but there's it's, there's so many different things that you can do with it, which I think is really cool. But one of the other really cool things is it, all of these come with keys. So can you tell us a little bit more about the head combos with the keys? keys. Sure. So as part of Dino Fury, you know the Rangers. They one of the things that gives them power are these awesome keys that they that they find, and each one of them has unique you know Megazord power, but also Morpher powers. So you can see here that you can with a with a snap pull them out of the Megazord Whoa. and. You can swap them out with any of these other other keys, you know. And, and as Emily mentioned, every one of these items is going to come with a corresponding key for every sword. So for the um, for the Tricera Blade Sword and the Sego Spike Sword, check out how cool these these heads are. So you know, one of the things I've always felt in robot design is that the head of the robot is the soul of the robot. It's really where the personality comes through. So we um, took extra care in making sure that these not only are really detailed, but also really well painted. And you can see that every single one of these guys has really great articulation. So you can actually. You know, get some pretty awesome but subtle poses huh. with these with these big robots, and you know every key is two sided. So when you flip them over and you can remove the back of the head, like this, you can see that there's actually a sculpted knight inside. Um, oh, and that, then that, this element can actually. Now that's very cool. <laughs> Man, they're going out and out on on this Megazord. They they really are uh, uh, making extra stuff, extra cool things. Hasbroids, oh. It's all out with the Megazord. That's that's awesome. Fit into the morpher, but on the inside of this, our designer Lock in Hong Kong really he, he went to the he went to the next level and he added a tiny secret surprise. Check out. Whoa. Yeah, they they definitely are going the extra mile here. It's a tiny itsy bitsy ranger inside of the back of the head, going crazy and and doing awesome power up moves. To me, that's, it's little Easter eggs like this that make this enchanting for both young fans and older fans because it's all about that discovery and, you know, there's Zeta in there doing his thing. And um, it's just exciting to be able to, to do that. But then also, like, if you have a Morpher, it'll power up. Oh, so coincidentally, look who has a Morpher. So in order to get the key in the Morpher, you take your key, as John showed you, you take the head piece off of the back, so the little piece with the Ranger Goober, so that now the back of your key is flat. So then what you do is you take this, take your Morpher, there's a slot for the key to go in, 
stick it in the slot. Oh, it turned itself on. And now you have amazing new sound effects for when you use your morpher. This one sounds like, like elastic. elastic it's very silly. Yeah, it's yeah. elastic power. This Green is great. Elastic power. And so one of the things that you My can favorite do is... is red, very... Oh, so the keys are so together with the toys, the the action figures, and as well as the sword, and they serve as the the Megazord's head, and also they they give uh, some different sounds on the Morpher. Man, <laughs> that's very neat, man. Red Ranger has the firepower. Oh, that one's great. I wonder if I can preview that noise. Okay, so do do do. We take our key. I'm getting really good at this. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great. Red Ranger power. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> this is so good. Um, okay, so I'm loving all of this. I think that it's amazing and a great addition to our line. I think that this element of creativity and play is so important. Um, do you think that we'll make more of these combining swords in the future? Can you see this being the only five that we make? Um, so without, you know, obviously any spoiling any secrets of the new series, I can say that one of the coolest parts of this new Dino Fury show is that all these awesome Zords and power-ups um, can, can be found by the Rangers along the way. And, and these five Zords, the main Zords of the of the different Dino Fury Rangers, are just the beginning. You know, there's power-ups that they encounter, there's other keys that they encounter. And, um, you know, I have to say that my personal favorite is the Moser Razor Zord uh, that's in the show. Uh, you can see this guy in, in, in action. It's, it's, it's epic. I don't know how else to describe it. So I think that's part of the fun of designing these things. It's a system. And so it invites uh, fans and kids alike to collect them and to have fun with them and really unlock the possibilities of their own imagination. Such as, but not limited to, this, if your imagination looks anything like mine, check out that sword that you totally wouldn't want to use in battle. It looks really cool. <laughs> and it's, you can actually, you know, part of the series is that these are relatively simple to morph. So you can, with just a few simple actions, you're able to, you know, change this character from a robot to an awesome sword. And you can hear those awesome clicking, ratcheting joints. Um, so satisfying. It is super satisfying. And then, you know, just you rotate these bad boys up with a snap of the tail. You got yourself an awesome T-Rex sword, you know, and, and yeah. pile on some of these awesome bricks and other epic accessories, and you can build it your way. You can do, you can do whatever you want. Slam it, slam it down on here. You can yeah. add vertically and sideways. You could have this thing, the biggest, baddest T-Rex, Power Rangers, Dino Fury T-Rex you could ever imagine, and just have a big epic battle with your parents in the living room. Uh, I'm excited okay. to play with my kid with these things, and I'm, I'm excited to be able to share this with all of the Power Rangers Rangerverse out there. Fabulous. Oh, and look, and one of the things I like is that a lot of these have connectors on multiple sides so that you can really kind of change up the experience just by changing what side you're connecting them on. So it's pretty much a Lego uh, Megazord. <laughs> yeah, it, it is cool, but we, it is a Lego Megazord. You can in, make endless possibilities. It's pretty cool if you enjoy the kind of stuff, especially for a little kid and enjoy playing around. Now he's tall. A little less threatening looking, but definitely taller. <laughs> So oh, yeah. I, this has been absolutely amazing. Um, everybody who's watching Ranger Nation, which sword are you most excited to see on screen in Dino Fury? We have these five new amazing swords to choose from. What are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments. We always love to hear from you. Um, and John, thank you so much for joining me today and for hanging out, talking swords, my Valentine drawing. Oh my God, I'm so excited to put that on my fridge. Thanks. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Rust. So that's it, guys. That's the Power Rangers Dino Fury Megazord toys. They just have been revealed like an hour ago and I'm recording this. I, I I recorded so fast that I didn't even edit and stuff. I recorded kind of like in a reaction mode, making it uh, as I watch together with you guys and commenting this. So it kind of look it kind of looks like uh, I'm I'm making a reaction video, <laughs> but it is not. Uh, I I just wanted to add my thoughts on that, and it looks very amazing. I like the the Power Rangers Megazord. And uh, I want to say, guys, this looks awesome. This 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 Megazord looks very cool, very well made, and it and it's awesome that they, they add very tiny details like the keys and and the extra part of the keys, the, the extra design of the keys, the the endless building block stuff that you can do with the Zords and transform it like a Lego Megazord. <laughs> <laughs> that, which is not bad. I, I think it's a very cool idea, but it doesn't get out of my mind. Oh, the the Megazords are, are kind of like Lego now. You can build whatever combination, endless combination you want now. Because they, they kind of have this Lego-like brick system. <laughs> it, it is cool. It is very cool. And I really like and enjoy it. And I want to know, know, what do you guys think of the Lego Megazord thing? Uh, do you guys find it cool? Do you guys think it's too too much creativity for... I don't know. Yeah. Let me know in the comments below. And I, got, and I hope to see you guys next time because I have a lot of nails. And I'm going to record more videos about other stuff. Which they just released now. 
So until next time.